In Australia, a coffee palace was a temperance hotel built during 1880s. They were hotels that did not serve alcohol, built in response to the temperance movement and, in particular, the influence of the independent order of Rechabites in Australia. James Monroe was a particularly vocal member of this movement. Coffee palaces were often multipurpose or mixed-use buildings which included a large number of rooms for accommodation as well as ballrooms and other function and leisure facilities. History Designed to compete with hotels by offering all the ordinary advantages of those establishments without the allurements of the drink, coffee houses appear to have first been established in Scotland in the 1830s as part of the then new temperance societies. Later in the 19th century similar establishments appeared across the United Kingdom under various names such as Temperance Hotel, Temperance Bar or Coffee Tavern. Intended as an alternative to the corner pub, they were often about the same size, and while many were established, few remain recognizable. In the 1870s, the temperance movement made a concerted effort to create more elaborate attractive buildings to draw custom away from the pubs, and these were to be called coffee palaces. They included all the facilities of a grand hotel, such as a large number of rooms for accommodation as well as dining rooms, billiard rooms, lounges and parlours. The temperance movement in Australia was established shortly after its beginnings in the UK. For instance, the Temperance Society in Melbourne was formed in 1837. The first coffee palace companies were founded in the late 1870s in Melbourne, Sydney, and Adelaide. The movement in particular flourished in Melbourne in the 1880s, then in the throes of a land boom, with land rising steeply in value and large buildings built to capitalise on that value. This coincided with the popularity of what is now called High Victorian architecture, lavish buildings with richly ornamented facades and interiors, usually Renaissance revival, perhaps combined with Second Empire elements. Coffee palaces were built in the central city of Melbourne, in the major suburbs, seaside resorts, and in country towns across Victoria, catering for patrons who wanted the advantage of a fine hotel without the dangers associated with alcohol consumption on the premises. They were also built in other capital cities across Australia, as well as some country towns in other states. In Victoria, politician James Monroe was a leading member of the temperance movement. Monroe formed a company in 1886 that purchased a prominent hotel, the Grand on Spring Street built three years previously, and converted it into a temperance hotel. The 1880s boom soon bust, and the coffee palaces lost custom to licensed hotels they were sometimes built to compete with, while others were built for patrons that never came, and so many went bankrupt within ten years. Some were converted into guest houses or private hotels, while others applied for liquor licenses. The term coffee palace continued to be popular, however, and many fairly small residential hotels, often in resort or country towns, used the name to indicate they were not licensed, but fell short of the grandeur the name implied. The larger examples were essentially large Victorian era hotels with numerous small rooms, and those that had not continued as hotels often became cheap boarding houses by the mid 20th century, especially in the Melbourne suburbs, and a large number were demolished from the 1950s to 1970s. Some significant examples still survive, though very few still operate as hotels. The most famous survivor is the Hotel Windsor, the enlarged and renamed Grand Coffee Palace that James Monroe had taken over, which gained a license in 1920, and is Australia's major surviving grand 19th century hotel. <laughs> Australia <laughs> Victoria. Topic. Melbourne Collingwood Coffee Palace originally proposed as Fitzroy Coffee Palace and Workers Club, 232 Smith Street, Fitzroy named Collingwood despite actually being on the Fitzroy side of the street, 1879. In the early 20th century floors added and subsumed into a department store, of which only the facade remains propped atop a supermarket. Paran Coffee Palace, Chapel Street, Paran, 1880 Victoria Coffee Palace, Collins Street adjacent to the Town Hall, 1880 as the Victoria Club. 
The Collins Street frontage was demolished when the town hall was extended in the 1920s, but the Little Collins Street part, built 1880s and 1920s, survives as the Victoria Hotel. Coffee Tavern No. 2, 516-518 Flinders Street 1880. Closed 1897, became a warehouse then offices, then a licensed brothel in 1990. Melbourne Coffee Palace, Burke Street, 1881, demolished C1970. Federal Coffee Palace, corner of Collins and King Streets, Melbourne, 1888, demolished 1972. Grand Coffee Palace, Spring Street, first stage built as an hotel in 1884, became a coffee palace in 1886, extended 1888, renamed the Hotel Windsor in the 1920s. Oriental Coffee Palace, later Gladstone Hotel, Victoria Street, 1888 North Melbourne Albert Park Coffee Palace, later the Biltmore, Albert Park, 1887. Brunswick Coffee Palace, Brunswick 1879 Queen's Coffee Palace, 1 Rathdown Street, Carlton, 1890, demolished C1970 McCann's Coffee Palace, Spencer Street, Melbourne, 1891, now Great Southern Hotel Hawthorne Coffee Palace, Burwood Road Hawthorne near Glenferry Road, C1890 demolished Mentone Coffee Palace, Mentone, 1887. Closed 1904, and purchased to become the nucleus of Kilbreda College. Newport Coffee Palace, 24 Newcastle Street, Newport, 1891 became a guest house in the 1920s, converted to apartments in the later 20th century. Sandringham Coffee Palace, opposite Railway Station, 1889, known by 1894 as Sandringham House, Sandringham, demolished, possibly the site of current Sandringham Hotel. South Yarra Coffee Palace, CNR Turak Road and Claremont Street, 1887 now the Hotel Claremont Guesthouse. St Kilda Coffee Palace, Gray Street, St Kilda, 1883 St Kilda West Melbourne Coffee Palace, Victoria Street, probably on the corner of Roden Street, West Melbourne, C1888 demolished James's Coffee Palace, Williamstown, demolished <laughs> Ballarat Andrews Coffee Palace, Armstrong Street Reed's Coffee Palace, 1886 and 1888, veranda late 1890s now a Reed's guest house. <inaudible> Bendigo Sandhurst Coffee Palace demolished Central Coffee Palace demolished <inaudible> Queenscliff Barwon Heads Coffee Palace, facing mouth of Barwon River, 1889, renamed Mount Kalite Hotel, destroyed by fire 1928, site now Barwon Heads Hotel Ocean Grove Coffee Palace, later Green Gables and the Chalet, 1888, demolished late 1960s Grand Hotel, 1881, now View Grand, sometimes described as a coffee palace Sea View Coffee Palace, CNR Hess and Stokes Streets, described as a coffee palace from 1899, now Sea View Guest House. Federal Coffee Palace, Hess Street, Queenscliff, location and date uncertain. Other Geelong Coffee Palace, originally Max Hotel, Brougham Terrace formerly Corio Terrace, refurbished and reopened as a coffee palace in 1888, name returned to Max Hotel still without a license in 1891, demolished Grand Coffee Palace, Bairnsdale, 1889, demolished 1970s. Mildura Coffee Palace, Mildura, 1891, 1919 became the Grand Hotel, with license. Mertoa Coffee Palace, Mertoa Ozone Coffee Palace, Warrnambool, 1889, refurbished in 1920 and reopened as Hotel Mansions, full license granted in 1923, destroyed by fire 1929. Marno Coffee Palace, Marno Wimmera Coffee Palace, Horsham, 1918 Horsham, demolished Tasmania 
Imperial Hobart Coffee Palace, Hobart, Tasmania built in two sections, firstly in the 1880s then extended in 1910. Cast iron veranda, balcony and mansard roof were removed during the 1950s and the 1910 extension was demolished in the 1960s. Tasmanian Coffee Palace, Hobart, Tasmania, 89 Macquarie Street established in Ingle Hall which was built C1814. Also known as Norman's Coffee Palace, The Orient, and Anderson's. Now home to the Mercury Print Museum. Federal Sutton's Coffee Palace later Metropole, 67 Brisbane Street, Launceston, Tasmania demolished 1976 Shields Temperance Hotel Shields Coffee Palace, 77 Esplanade, Lanunston, Tasmania. Ironically established in the former Burton Brewery in 1859, the building was eventually reduced in size as the Mons Flour Mills expanded in the early 20th century with the building finally being demolished in the 1950s. Commonwealth Coffee Palace, 23-29 Tamar Street, Launceston, Tasmania demolished 1960s. South Australia Grand Coffee Palace, Hindley Street, Adelaide, built 1890. Grayson's Coffee Palace, Adelaide demolished 1918. Coffee Palace, 110 Hindley Street, Adelaide, built 1900 as Austral Stores, becoming Grant's Coffee Palace in 1908, then West's Coffee Palace in 1919. Port Pioneer Coffee Palace. Hindley Street, Adelaide. 1879. Topic New South Wales Sydney Coffee Palace, Sydney, New South Wales founded 1879, rebuilt 1913-1914 demolished, Sydney Coffee Palace, Woolloomooloo 1880 Grand Central Coffee Palace 1880, Sydney Beehive Coffee Palace, Sydney Crescent Coffee Palace, Haymarket Great Western Coffee Palace, Hay and Sussex Street, Haymarket Town Hall Coffee Palace, Brickfield Hill, Sydney Oxford Coffee Palace, Riley Street, East Sydney Johnson's Temperance Coffee Palace. York Street, Sydney. Built 1879. Davies Coffee Palace, Manly, built 1912, demolished 1955. Miss McGurran's Coffee Palace, Coffs Harbour. Dorigo Coffee Palace, Hickory Street, Dorigo, burnt down 1926 and again in 1930. Metropolitan Coffee Palace, Goulburn, 1893. Katoomba Coffee Palace. Central Coffee Palace, Main Street, Merwillamba Federal Coffee Palace, Parks Queensland People's Palace, Brisbane built 1910-11, in 2015 operating as a backpacker's hotel Canberra Hotel, Brisbane built 1929, sold 1985 and later demolished Royal George, Nambour, built 1911, licensed in 1912 and destroyed by fire on 15 February 1961. Hills Coffee Palace, Dalby. <laughs> Western Australia Horseshoe Coffee Palace, Perth Burnett's Coffee Palace and Temperance Hotel Perth's first Coffee Palace, although the building, constructed C1834, was previously the licensed Devonshire Arms, prior to that the Mason's Arms, Corner Hay and Barrack Streets, diagonally opposite Town Hall, Perth Ellis's Grand Central Coffee Palace still standing as the Grand Central Hotel, Wellington Street, Perth Continental Coffee Palace Wellington Street, Perth Rechabite Coffee Palace, Wellington Street, Perth opposite Central Railway Station Royal Coffee Palace, 165-167 Murray Street, Perth Mussons, Sydney Coffee Palace, Hotel, Murray Street, Perth Cornwall Coffee Palace, previously the Yankee Coffee Palace, 239 Murray Street between William and Barrack Sts, Perth Prince of Wales Coffee Palace, Murray Street, Perth Shaftos Victoria Coffee Palace, Wellington Street, Perth Wilson's Coffee Palace, King Street, Perth Paris Coffee Palace, Corner of James and Pier Sts, Northbridge Worsley's Coffee Palace, Catanning, Perth Metropolitan Coffee Palace, Stirling Street, Northbridge Britannia Coffee Palace, 323 William Street, Northbridge Perth Coffee Palace, William Street, Northbridge 
1904 Wise Directory has 20 coffee palaces listed in Perth and other locations in WA. Topic United Kingdom Douglas Coffee Palace, Douglas, Isle of Man demolished 1930 Newport Street Coffee Palace, Swindon Ossington Coffee Palace, 1882, Newark on Trent The Coffee Palace, Townsend Street, Dublin, 1875 Coffee Palace and Workman's Hall, Kensal Green, London Coffee Tavern, St. David's Bridge, Cranbrook, Kent, 1880, Tiffin's Restaurant in 2018 Coffee Tavern, Farncombe, Surrey, 1887 Sweetapple House in 2018 Topic. See also Temperance Bar Temperance Movement Topic. Bibliography Grand Hotels, Reality and Illusion. Elaine Denby. Reaction Books, 2002.